Hey guys, it's Jacob from Infogo here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I've got another $30 Chrono Toys Mystery Box. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here is the second to last one of these I've got to open. So in total I opened five. So you've seen me open two with Liam. Uh, and then you've already seen me open one before this one. And then I've got this one and then another one. So. Yeah, I made the mistake of going big with these boxes because you've seen uh, what I get from them basically. Uh, it's all kind of similar stuff, but being from the UK, as I've said before, they're still kind of a win no matter what because obviously it, a lot of these pops we don't get anyway. So uh, it's still pretty nice, but it's kind of it kind of ruins the mystery box factor. Yes, I don't still don't know what's in the box, but I know I'm pretty much guaranteed like. You know, Cyber Monday Pops and Giant Ladies and things like that. Um, so it takes the mystery out of it a little bit, which is kind of annoying because I love the mystery factor. And I know you guys do too. Um, and that's why I watch other YouTubers and love making them myself because of the mystery box factor. So I am I probably won't be ordering too much from Chrono Toys again. Um, they still guarantee the value and give you great value for the boxes. But th these boxes were... Um, not the kind I'd like to open again on my channel. Um, I don't really do it for the value. I do it for the potential to get something big. And these, I know that's still kind of like the value, but I don't mind losing out on money. I just want, I just love being able to win big for spending, you know, for the boxes. And these just look like you just get, you know, you get good value, but there's no mystery element and no big hits. So uh, anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna open it. Hopefully I get some cool pops. And it's not all just that similar stuff, but you guys know that it probably will be. So let's just look at it anyway. Okay, that's a little bit open. Yeah, that's a bit open. Okay. Right. Uh, same again. And obviously with this box, the packaging wasn't amazing for it. So I'm doing what I did last time. I'm just going to put it kind of over there. This bubby box, get rid of that. And let's just crack into it. Right, let's go to the first four inch pop so actually just feeling around quickly before I re reveal that pop there's looks like there's a similar amount to the four right so the first pop in our Chrono Toys $30 mystery box oh okay <laughs> so I know one particular Liam who will be happy about this this pop pool um, so this is Tinkerbell from the Cyber Monday bundle already I'm actually pretty happy about this box because I know how much he wants this pop so that's really awesome that I could get it for um, him and Jem, his girlfriend. Uh, so that will go into their collection, which is awesome. Yeah, really happy about that actually. Uh, that's kind of, you know, made me happy about the whole box to be fair. I was really hoping that um, I would pull that for him and I have done. <laughs> uh, right, let's just get into the next one. So again, they're pretty tightly packed in here with not a lot of packaging. I'm surprised that they've uh, come all the way from America undamaged being not greatly packaged. But um, anyway, let's get into the next. Next pop, um, okay. So we pulled this one in our video uh, video of me and Liam. So this is the uh, Praetorian Guard. Uh, as I said, pretty cool pop. One that I said that if I had that in a squeeze of sticker to it, it would be uh, probably more valuable than it actually is. But a lot of these Last Jedi pops are not very valuable. Yeah, I love the film. I think I love all the Star Wars films. So uh, it's always cool to get a Star Wars pop but um, not one that's going to be in my collection and uh, yeah damage wise a little bit of scuffs up here and Tinkerbell actually looked pretty perfect to me nothing really wrong with that one so I think Liam will be happy about that so that's cool yeah they're the first two balls uh, right so already like if you compare it to the uh, double box toys one which I was talking about this box in that video it's kind of it, you get like two of these pops and it's the same as that one, but these are only $30 and that almost £40, which is like 50 odd dollars. So uh, that's why this box isn't too bad for us because value, the value is definitely there. Um, it's just the way they've packaged them and and the way they've done the mission, which I'm not happy about. Anyway, let's get into the third pop. So this is, okay, yeah, see, so pulled two of these already. Uh, so this is Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, again, really cool looking pop. Yeah, really awesome one. It would be cool to get the glow chase, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, right, so that's the first three. So let's get into the next one. I do feel a six inch pop there. So again, we'll save that to the end. 
and let's have a look what the next four inch pop is. Okay, so it's another Huckleberry Hound. Again, something we pulled previously, but still a really cool looking pop. Another one of the size Monday Monday pops. Yeah, really cool. And yeah, that's Huckleberry Hound. I don't know too much about the Hanna Barbera uh, you know, shows. I um, didn't grow up watching them, so I can't really say too much about this one. But so far, if you look at it, um, it's a lot better than our dub box toys mystery box. Uh, if you look at it as getting two side Monday pops, and then I've already got like two other pops for thirty dollars. It's very good. Uh, the dub box toys mystery boxes were uh, forty five pounds all in, and you got two side Monday pops. So as I said, I still don't like the way they've done it, but uh, it's better. But yeah, I'll stop talking now. Right, let's get into the next pop. So the fifth pop. So again, I think there is seven pops in here. Uh, right. Oh. So this is, okay, yeah, another High Elf again, cool pop from the Elder Scrolls uh, online game, uh, but, uh, oh, she's kind of like <laughs> falling out, falling out there, <laughs> um, yeah, cool pop, but it's not one that I want for my collection, so, yeah, let's just move on for that, played Skyrim and, and the Elder Scrolls online, really cool games, but, Pops that I want for my collection. Right, the last four inch pop. Okay, so this is another thin. It's actually, yeah, it's actually a different one to the one I pulled before. Uh, I don't think Liam will want this one, so I gave him the other the other thin. We kind of traded it. Uh, but I don't know because I know he wants just one of every character, so uh, I don't think he'll want this one, but I'll ask him and see what he thinks. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, Finn. So this is when he's in the. Uh, his Empire gear, that looks it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Finn from uh, Star Wars. Right, so now the last, last pop in this box, I believe. Yep. Okay, so it's probably gonna be a giant lady, but let's find out. <laughs> yep, it's a giant lady. Okay, so it's another one of these ones. These, this one's actually a bit more rare than the, uh, than the. Um, gold and silver versions so I guess that's something uh, <laughs> again I said I like the detail on this you can see it a bit more she's like red and gold and yellow uh, yeah uh, again not not too much to say about this one so this is the pops I got in my $30 Corona Toys mystery box again the values there but the mystery factor isn't which makes it a bit of an annoying video to make but that's what happens when you go big with these boxes. So yeah, let's get into uh, value quickly. Uh, I'm probably just gonna do a, uh, well, I'll do it again on, on Popper Sky as I always do. Uh, right, so let's go, let's just do Giant Lady first. So I believe she was $24 from memory. So yeah, she's actually come down a little bit. So she's now $17 on Popper Sky. Been in his first, first order, I said, uh, Empire. <laughs> um, yeah, first order disguise is nine dollars. So that's, that's all right so far. That's obviously that's hit our value pretty much. So the Santa Hat Huckleberry Hound from Cyber Monday bundle is eight dollars. So High Elf is eight dollars. Tinkerbell is fifteen dollars. So Super Scion to Vegeta is ten dollars. And last but not least is the Praetorian Guard. So the Praetorian Guard is eight dollars. Guide. So, so yeah, that's uh, seventy-five dollars in total for all of these, which is pretty cool. It does say sixty to hundred dollars um, is the kind of sort of average price, but it doesn't actually guarantee the value. So it's always nice to get that uh, seventy-five dollars out of a thirty-dollar box. Um, again, a lot of these pops I I uh, already owned now, um, and then as I said, I, I love the fact they've got the Tinkerbell for uh, Liam and Jem, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, these are the pops. Again, as always, let me know which one's your favourite. Uh, I think mine is, is yeah, the Tinkerbell, just for that reason. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next one.